Evangelicals reflexively define themselves in terms of the Bible, and histories of evangelicalism often have traced it back to the sacred scriptures of Christianity. Evangelical, after all, stems from evangel, Greek, euagelion, the word translated good news in modern Bible versions and gospel in older ones. Evangelicals see themselves as focused on, redeemed by, and commissioned to proclaim the good news of God's salvation through Jesus Christ. The Bible is the divinely inspired account of that salvation. So evangelicals are Bible people. The great evangelical leader John Wesley, arguably one of the best-read people of his erudite age, and himself the issuer of over 400 publications as author, editor, or publisher, called himself Homo Unius Libri a man of one book. Every Christian, however, would claim to revere the Bible as God's written word. Roman Catholic, Orthodox Protestant, all Christians are Bible people, and all of them view their churches as stemming from the career of Jesus. What else could they think? Evangelicals differ from Catholics and Orthodox Christians in that they champion the Bible as the supremely authoritative guide to faith and life. Their Catholic and Orthodox siblings hold to the idea that the Holy Spirit of God continued to teach the Christian church new things over the centuries, since the composition of the New Testament in the first century. The church was led by that same spirit to receive these teachings as divinely given, and thus came to respect tradition alongside the Bible as a religious authority as well not unlike the way Jews regard the Talmud and Muslims regard the Hadith. And like Jews and Muslims, Catholics and Orthodox differ among themselves about just how authoritative that tradition should be understood to be. Evangelicals, by contrast, have tended to be suspicious of what grew up in the centuries after the Apostolic Age. As Martin Luther memorably put it in his appearance before the 1521 Diet of Worms, an imperial hearing to ascertain his orthodoxy. Unless I am convinced of error by the testimony of Scripture, or since I put no trust in the unsupported authority of Pope or councils, since it is plain that they have often erred and often contradicted themselves, by clear reasoning, I stand convinced by the Scriptures to which I have appealed. My conscience is subject to God's word. Evangelicals see themselves not just as generic Christians who accept the Bible as inspired, but also as Protestant Christians who have singular authority to the Bible and cast a gimlet eye on any other claims on the Christian conscience. Indeed, the self-understanding of evangelicals tends to leap directly from the pages of the Bible to the Reformation of the 16th century.